Hey parents, Mr. Jim here, and guess what? All of Mr. Jim podcasts, yes, I'm talking kids short stories, kids animal stories, biology squad, bedtime stories, all of them are now available on Story Button. Story Button is my invention that I invented to make it easier for kids to listen to podcasts, their favorite stories, off of screens. Parents, you know how it goes of putting kids to bed, maybe having to use your phone or an iPad to listen to stories. Well, uh, we want to put that to an end and make it easier for you all to listen to audio stories off of a screen. Story Button is a device that connects to your internet to freely access all of the great kids podcasts available in our library. Go to storybutton.com to learn more. And when you order today, you can save $20 and get free shipping at storybutton.com. Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Declan counted down and whoosh. He jumped off his branch and parachuted towards a lower one underneath him. Declan is a Draco lizard. This reptile can only be found in the forests of Indonesia. The most amazing thing about these lizards is their ability to fly. Oh, well, (laughs) not exactly flying like birds, but they definitely fall with style. shouted Declan. His flat green body matched the tall trees in the rainforest. He opened up the special flaps of skin on the side of his ribs and off he zoomed. Declan landed safely below on another green tree. Ah, I love having a parachute built in, he thought. Even though he hadn't actually seen a real parachute, he'd heard this special Patagia was pretty close. Declan was getting ready for the big skydiving event in his neighborhood of the rainforest. Every year, all of the Draco dragons got together to show off their amazing skills. This year, Declan hoped to come back as champion flyer. He knew if he cleared 26 feet, he would be the absolute winner. Holy smokes, 26 feet? That's really far. Declan, Declan, Declan. He imagined the crowd chanting and cheering his name. He liked to call himself the Dragon Flyer because after all, Draco actually meant dragon. He liked to think of himself as a fierce, big dragon with wings as far as the eye could see. If he pretended he had actual wings, Maybe this would give him an extra boost of confidence to win. While Declan was very busy practicing and jumping from as many tricky branches and trees as he could, he even tried to practice when everyone else was playing or resting. Hey Declan, uh, don't you want to catch some dinner or maybe play some leaf tag with us? Called his friend Paisley. Paisley had been friends with Declan ever since they hatched down below. They met soon after climbing out of their own eggs. Declan remembered climbing through the loose dirt and seeing Paisley. He was scared back then as a baby lizard, and she was a comfort to have close by. They climbed up their first tall tree together and became best friends. Declan couldn't believe that that was the last time he'd been on the ground. It felt just like yesterday that he made that journey with Paisley. But then again, it also felt like a really long time ago. Have you ever felt that way? 
like something a really long time ago kind of felt like just yesterday. <laughs> or maybe just yesterday feels like a really, really long time ago. <laughs> Anyways, Declan called back to Paisley. Sorry, Paisley. I'm practicing my flying today. I need to get as much practice in as possible if I actually want to win this thing this year. Okay, well, uh, don't forget to eat, though. I heard there's a new termite nest down uh, by the durian fruit trees, Paisley said. Durian fruit trees had big spiky ovals on them. Declan remembered once when a spiky fruit fell and cracked open. It was full of strange yellow and juicy fruit. I won't forget, Paisley. I'll meet you over there after I'm done doing some more jumps, Declan said. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you then, called Paisley. And she headed off, jumping from branch to branch, gliding through the air like she actually had wings. <sighs> okay, I just need to get some height and some speed. I can do this. I can't do this. Come on, Declan. One, two... Three. Whoa! Declan soared through the air and tried to push himself to get a little bit further and further. He was doing amazingly great and was almost to that branch he had his eye on. Oh dear. Uh, Declan did not see this coming. Suddenly, a bird flew right in front of him. He lost his focus and Crack. Thud. Thud. Oh. Declan had hit a smaller branch and it broke. He tumbled down with it, hitting smaller branches along the way until he landed on the cold, wet, dark forest floor with a splat. Declan slowly opened his eyes. Ouch. He moaned to himself. He looked around and didn't see anything familiar. Oh dear, he couldn't even make out which way was up or down or left or... And then, he realized, Uh, I'm on the, the forest floor. I'm on the ground. But how did this, how did this happen? Champions don't fall to the ground. Oh dear. Declan was not only upset, but flustered and confused, and he was also scared of the unknown. You see, lizards like Declan, they are much safer up in the trees where they can jump and glide from branch to branch. They're not built to run around on the forest floor. <sighs> okay, I, I just need to take a breather. Declan tried to calm down. Okay. Whew, my back seems okay, my tail seems okay. Front legs, check. Back legs, check. Ouch! Oh, wait, uncheck that one. One of my legs is not okay. Declan realized that one of his back legs was really hurt. With such a long fall, he'd hurt it pretty badly. How am I going to get back up to the tall tree if my legs hurt? I can't glide up. I can only glide down. Declan tried to think. He had to come up with a plan before a predator got the best of him. Camouflage would only last so long on the forest floor. Think, think, think. Declan tried to come up with a plan. What in the world will Declan the Draco Lizard do? How is he going to get back up the tree to safety? Will Paisley wonder where he is or... Will he be too hurt to compete in the great flying competition? Oh dear. All these questions and more will be answered on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. Wow. Draco lizards are beautiful critters. When they stretch out their brown skin in between their front and back legs, these big wings come out, and that helps them glide. 
and they are filled with beautiful colors. Do you remember what country Draco lizards live in? Hmm, was it England or Indonesia? Yes, it was Indonesia. That's where Draco lizards live. Well, my critter protectors, I hope you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure.